What's up everybody, how's it going? It's Burke aka Dansgrate here and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. So if you've been following stuff recently on the channel you would have seen, hopefully, or maybe even tuned in live when I did some live streams for the post game of Final Fantasy IX. So depending on how I release this it might be a premiere with a live chat and stuff. So heading in I, I'm gonna make sure everyone who is at least watching right now is aware that this is not a live stream. Um, I said it all along, I said it multiple times, but of course people catch the stream at different times and they might not know, so I'm going to repeat myself one more time about this. Um, during the live streams, basically I knew that there was a lot of preparation work to do to even get to Ozma in Final Fantasy IX, and that preparation work can definitely be considered tedious by many, uh, me included, and that's the main reason why I never really wanted to do Ozma in the first place. But when it came to the live streams, we had a really good time in there, it was a lot of fun, a lot of banter, very helpful and knowledgeable audience kind of guiding me through with what to do and I've got the Moguri mod installed as well and there's a few cheats because it's a Steam version like the speed up for example which really made it a much more streamlined and fun experience than it would have been if I was doing it any other way so in that sense thank you to everyone that tuned into live streams it's a lot of fun and it's partly thanks to you guys that I'm even doing this thing so the fact that I've made it to Ozma and that you guys are going to be able to watch that content is thanks to the community and all the great support. So thank you guys very much for all of that. So, the reason I didn't want to do that on the live stream is something I've said, again, countless times. But it's because when it comes to especially like super bosses like this, I want to try and figure things out on my own. That's how I've always played these Final Fantasy games and it's part of why the channel even exists in the first place. That whole idea of doing challenging things in Final Fantasy games beating difficult bosses without a guide, trying to figure it out, and that feeling of triumph once you do, that's kind of what drove me to create this channel in the first place. And uh, and so that's something I really keep close to my heart, and especially when you're on a live stream and there's a live chat going, for me it's just impossible to, to play the game the way I want to when it comes to fighting bosses and super bosses and that kind of thing. So that's why uh, once I was ready, I went offline, and now this is just a standard recording, and I'm going to be trying to defeat Ozma for the first time. So... One of the first things I think that's worth mentioning is that, um, of course, during the live streams, I, I told people to, to not basically give me all of the strategies for how to win or anything that breaks the battle and just makes it super easy. Um, that was pretty successful. I honestly, one of the reasons I didn't want to do it was because I thought there's just going to be people coming along and just telling me how to do it, and it's going to spoil all the fun. But thankfully, people were actually paying attention on that front, and the mods and stuff uh, made sure everyone was aware. And so I didn't really get spoiled on anything. Uh, one thing I did get spoiled on was basically the idea that you can't even hit Ozma properly unless you do all of the friendly monsters. So that's why I've got multiple saves here. Um, this particular one, I think I can open the menu to show you guys. Uh, I'll talk more about it when I do that. So let's set it up. I've already fought uh, Ozma one time. I did it in the live stream just to show people, just to give people a preview because I knew I wasn't going to win the first time. And so I got wrecked one time so far, but this is literally uh, attempt two. So, um, let me see. Yeah, so 51 hours in, just uh, just under 52 hours actually. Uh, this is not the most recent save. So I ended up doing the friendly creatures. We did one final uh, session where I did a few more uh, post-game things, including the friendly creatures. And so I have different saves at different levels and uh, there's going to be different opportunities to be able to fight uh, Ozma. The save file that you see here is basically the first time in the game I was actually ready to fight Ozma. And I'm pretty sure this is the same one where I got wrecked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one. This one doesn't have all of the friendly creatures defeated. So I'm going to be, basically this is like the most bare bones, uh, quote unquote, low level low preparation attempt against Ozma, and then if I find that after a bunch of attempts I'm really not getting anywhere and it's proving too difficult, then I'll probably fire up my last save where I've done all of the chocograph stuff, I've got all of the friendly creatures, and that should be the one where I'm in the best position, barring literally being maxed out in terms of levels potentially, where I could have a better chance of defeating Ozma. I mean, I objectively do have a better chance, but I want to start with the, with the save file that has like the rawest uh, least level of preparation and so we're gonna go from there and see what we can do so first thing is party members um, again I'm pretty certain there must be an optimized strategy for this one like certain certain characters have certain abilities that are able to for example always hit against Ozma so they're the best ones to use etc but for now I'm just gonna start off with a party that I think is strong and we'll go from there 
Like Freya, I believe, has a has a special ability that is really useful in this battle. Um, that's all I know. I don't know. I forgot which ability it was, and how it all worked and stuff. But for now, I'm going to just try the the party that I have um, on the left, and we'll see how we go from there, and then uh, and then change things up. But yeah, this is really like not well prepared. I don't even think. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, basically, this is the final, final battle I have to do, so I'm just going to rinse everything that I have, um, including elixirs and whatever. So I think I should have, item-wise, I should have pretty much everything I'd need. I don't know if this game even has mega elixirs. I don't think so. So, we'll have to see. Right. So I'm going to take some time out here. I'll edit this part out. I'm just going to have a look through the menu because it's been a really long time since I did um, some seriously difficult battles. The ones that I'd done on the stream, uh, the Yan battle was extremely tough. Uh, the one with multiple Yans, that just seemed like crazy. Uh, I might head back to multiple Yans once I've done Ozma, potentially. But I didn't spend that much time going through all of this and trying to memorize it and all that stuff. And so, and trying to remember like what was the best thing to use and all that kind of thing. So I think in this save file I don't even have everyone's uh, ultimate weapons. It feels to me like everyone's generally pretty well optimized. Most of the time when I'm looking at something different I'm seeing red. Of course then you've got to look into like specific abilities that um, equipment has and stuff. Like auto haste, this one I don't have. Um, well, I haven't learned it permanently I guess. So, like for example, Ribbon works differently in this game. It doesn't even stop you from getting all of the stasis, which is kind of funny. Um, absorbs Water Wind. Okay. Yeah, okay, for now we'll just go in like this. Um, like I said, this is not, like, very well optimized. I'm pretty sure that this is definitely not going to be enough, but... I want to start from somewhere and get a feel for the battle again. And then we can kind of go from there. So... I've got to do this again. Yeah, Stein is the tankiest boy that I have on the team so far. So I think stuff like that is not going to help. I'm not sure how we did in terms of elemental attacks. I kind of forgot. Um, I'm going to remove all, all of the elemental stuff pretty much first. And see what happens. And then basically see what element, what elemental and um, or status effects I'm getting, and then kind of go from there. Use its own MP to raise attack power. So I'm going to go for like a attack power kind of thing. Again, I also don't know if um, the ability to not hit Ozma has anything to do with like mechanical accuracy stats, or it is literally for some reason just connected to the minigame and it doesn't matter how good your accuracy stat is, you just can't hit it. Um, but I'll just equip it anyway. I think speed is probably a good idea. I don't think there's anything lost by just using auto float. We're, we're fighting a giant floating ball. Let's just use that. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, flying. Does Ozma count as a flying enemy? <laughs> I doubt it. It's probably not in like a category like that. Those enemies physical attack games. Yeah, for now, let's just go with something like that. These are probably terrible selections, but we'll just see. Why not just try that? I feel like she's going to be mostly be doing defensive magic, so I think we'll be less likely to use it. Again, these I don't think are going to help much, but... Let's just do that for now. Why not? Okay. And Master VB to finish. Um, if I'm taking such obscene damage that regen is not helping that much, then I'll get rid of it. But for now, I want to use auto regen. Returns magic used by the enemy. This one's always double-edged sword. It could just absorb all the elements. So I feel like it's likely that Ozma probably absorbs them all. So I'll keep it anyway, just so I can see it in action. Maybe it, it, I don't know if you can return even like flare or whatever non-elemental spells of that power, but we'll see. If 
Reflect times two. Doubles the strength of spells by using Reflect. It's interesting. But yeah, for now we'll stick with this. Um, and we'll see how we do. It's a shame I can't... I might just quit and do another save here, actually. Yeah, so I'll be back in a second. I'll have a save where I'm just kind of prepared at least to have the first few attempts. I don't just want to do one attempt and then completely change to a different save file. That's not the dance great way. I've got to, I've got to grind a little bit. Okay, so it did take me a little while to find the the Sky Garden again. Uh, it's definitely annoying. I needed to pull up a map and keep going to different locations to, until I found the right one. But we're ready for the first real attempt now. That's probably going to end pretty badly. I wonder if uh, Moguri mod has save states. I don't think so. Ah, I should have used a tent, but screw it. I can just get rid of these cheapo potions. Vivi's only got 3,000 HP, but my guess is that Vivi can probably solo this guy. There must be some kind of way to set Vivi up so that you can do that. Whoops, that was a mistake. Come on, let's get going. Let's just see how we do. Steiner just looks way too excited because he's in float. <laughs> he's just like raring to go. So, I remember trying normal attacks. Okay, I came straight in with a Meteor. And I forgot if this just kills everyone anyway. Two people got hit. Um, sword Art. What about Climb Hazard? Yeah, so Auto Life worked for Garnet and BB. Okay, so I did do some damage. It wasn't actually that much. I expected a little more <laughs> defenses. Oi! Level 4, holy. I don't remember what level we're at, to be honest. Okay, we can return that. I think Ozma must be level 99, so I don't think that's going to make much difference. But Vivi really seems like he can return everything except for, like, Meteor bit annoying. Would have been nice. Ah yeah, okay. Climb hazard, let's see it. Okay. I mean that's something. So we are doing bits and pieces of damage here. At this stage I feel like all of the moves are so powerful that I'm not even sure having a mage really a white mage is really gonna help much. Doomsday. So I think this was the big move that basically wipes everyone out. So, question is, I guess, is there a way to block Doomsday or to survive it? You probably need your auto life for long enough to survive this. Now, this damages both sides. Doesn't it? Hmm. Didn't look like Ozma took any damage. Because it might be in like perma float status or something. Wrecked. Annihilated. Alright, sorry. And that did 7,000 damage. So the damage is pretty huge. It's looking like uh, you've got to blast your way through somehow. You've got to find something that's going to do serious damage. And find a way to make that like very quickly repeatable. Speaking of quickly repeatable, at least I can do this. Continue actually helps quite a lot here. So you get to retry the battle relatively quickly. It's basically like a save state. It's not too bad. It's 
So, Doomsday. Um, I think my... I think Vivi can use it, right? Am I able to see... Wow. I was just wondering if I could see what it is. Like, is it a damage type? My assumption would have been that when you have the Reflect Ring, you already have Reflect. I'm sure that's that's how it works. And then to learn it permanently, you just need to get, get the 70. Um... Now, I think... Hmm, no. I was thinking, was someone saved because they had auto-float? But I don't think that that's the case. Yeah, I probably need to, to get enough um, to give him auto-life too. I think with this save file, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Absorbs holy slash shadow attack elementals. Just thinking Doomsday... There's got to be a way to survive Doomsday, unless that's like the one cheap move where there's literally no way to survive it, unless you're lucky. I don't know. He survived it last time, right? Yeah, he doesn't even have his uh, ultimate weapon here. <laughs> this is just a really bad save to try and do it with. I'm not going to go too hard on this save, I think. I don't think I can do it with this one. Just not ready enough. Especially once I can hit it consistently, I'm sure I'm going to do much more damage. But I am curious about this. I need to find something. Hmm. So it's pretty much exclusively magic that we get hit by. Um... Raises Holy Shadow. Yeah, that's what it's like. Basically looking for anything that increases my magic defense a bit, but I don't think I can get it to a point where it would actually make a difference. Like my evasion going down, I doubt it matters. Magic evasion going up, going up that much is actually pretty good. Maybe I should look for magic evasion. That could be interesting. I mean, I don't know if that's like a... Oh, nice. I don't know if that's like a 31% chance of evading any spell. I'm not sure how that works. So my magic defense goes up to 60 with this. So that's something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at first. I just don't think I can really make these characters survive much. Um, even with all of these, I think the spells are just too strong. And my... Whoop, that was a mistake. And my level's just too low. Hmm. Yeah, I think that could work. Because we did see, for example, I think Doomsday, one, one character didn't kill. I think Meteor definitely got everyone. Yeah, I feel like his defense going down is just not going to matter. And Reflect doesn't seem to work much anyway. Yeah, it takes a, a one hit. Raises Shadow Elemental Attacks. I'm not using Shadow Elemental Attacks, I think. So. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of options for that either. So going for something a little bit different, I'm just trying to see if there's a, there's a few more ways to survive some of these attacks. So honestly, because of that, I think I'd prefer to leave and come back again. I'm not exactly sure how the continue works. The continue is probably going to work from the time when I first arrived. Basically, I don't want to have to do this setup every single time. So I think it's worth... Resaving. 
I know where the locations are a little better now, so I should be able to find it quicker. And I've got enough dead peppers to, to do it as well. And if I have an attempt where I don't think I need to change the setup, then obviously I, I can just use continue anyway, so it's not quite so bad. Man, I swear to god, the way they set up this Osmo fight is so damn annoying. Every time I think, okay, I've got it now, I should be able to repeat these attempts quickly, something happens and I can't find it again, or... This Sky Garden thing is just... it's bullshit. And I think every time you go into an area and you come back out of it, it resets. So that's what I've been trying to do, but then you have to go to a forest, you have to pick like a, a location that's near a forest. And it's just like, ugh, every time. It's definitely a little bit annoying. So try and do repeat attempts. I guess once you're fully set up and you're ready and you're not in experimentation mode, it's a little bit easier, but... If you're like me and you're trying to still figure it all out, then it takes a while. Okay, literally took me like 10 minutes to find it, even on the back of a chocobo. Ugh. I really do not like the way that they've done Ozma in this game. The game barely has any super bosses to speak of anyway, and they make it so annoying to access in the first place and then to re-attempt. Yeah, it took eight minutes. Sped up maybe like three, but still. Bit of a pain. Okay, let's do it. Hopefully gonna figure out some more things in this attempt. Alright, here we go again. Let's see what happens this time. Also trying to see if there's any kind of attack pattern here. It opened up pretty much with Meteor. So that's not a good sign. Also in this one, Garnet doesn't have haste, which is not good. Starts with death. Okay, fine. That's nasty. Oh yeah, he had auto life though, right? I'm gonna try like a mental break, it's probably immune to that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, so when you use something like Doomsday, it shows both sides getting hit. Okay, who's trance? Okay. Just keep using thievery, thievery, at least it's a guaranteed 2,000 damage. Yep. This to me feels unlikely, but let's see. Yeah, he doesn't even do damage, it's not like Final Fantasy X. Oh wow, okay, she just randomly summoned him now. Right. See what kind of damage Mega Flare can do. Always an epic animation though. Especially with the Moguri mod looking extra nice. But yeah, the auto regen working through the animation, as you can see, another little cheat, I guess. 1,092, by the way. <laughs> we don't really have... We need more pieces, basically, to make that more powerful, I think. I think that was the mechanic in this game, anyway. I don't know. There you go. Okay. See Doomsday in action again. Generally curious to see if anyone can survive or if anyone heals from it. It's hard to tell because there's auto regen flying around constantly as well. Let's see. If they all die, that'd be very obvious. So Zidane took zero. He, it said guard. I think he was the one that I equipped the pumice piece too. Let's 
So I think that's something. And I think we get two pumice pieces, so in my later save, that could also help. So that's confusion. That's basically everything. That's all the statuses. Auto life. So the one thing we did see, though, is when Doomsday happened, I got a guard sign. So that's something. It wasn't like a it wasn't like a miss. It wasn't magic evasion that saved me. That being said, I don't think the magic evasion worked that well. I can't remember anyone actually dodging any spells. My guess is it probably uses but like Doomsday, Meteor, and that kind of thing. They probably just hit regardless of what your magic evasion is. I don't think it's much of a strategy, but we'll see. With this one, I want to have a quick, like, re-attempt. Now. Yeah, so absorbs sh Holy Slash Shadow Elemental Attack. Doomsday is more likely a shadow attack than, a, than anything else. Shadow damage reduced by 100%. Okay, he's got two things that do the same thing, so we'll give that to someone else. Holy damage reduced by 100. Mm. He doesn't actually have a ton of options. Just put him back onto that for now. Um... It would be nice if we had something that, like, absorbed it instead. Raise the shadow. Demon's hmm. there. Shadow damage reduced by 50%. Hmm. Could just give him one of these instead. I want to get to a stage where at least Doomsday is not doing as much. Yeah, I can only reduce it by 50% with that. And I can stack this, I guess, for 100%. Absorb Shadow Elemental Attack. Okay. Hmm. It reduces his defense for all the other stuff, but honestly, the, most of the other things seem like one-hit KOs anyway, so I don't think it's that big a deal. So for now, at least, we're going to try to collectively... I think now everyone either has 100% or absorption. So I think that's good. Alright, let's give it another go. This time with full shadow protection. We have no status protection here. You saw the curse completely wrecked me, but... It's like one thing at a time. We're going to try to... <laughs> we're going to try and pick our poison, basically, here. Try and see if Shell's enough to protect anyone here. You never know. Also gonna need some peeps in trance probably too. All of these longer animation things are also helping with auto regen, which is another reason why I'm choosing to select them. Managed to survive that one. She's back in trance again. So she was the one that was the closest. 
That's another tweak that I can make. I can try to get everyone close to being in trance. But yeah, it's a shame, like, all of the meaningful spells VV can't return. So, like, no Doomsday and no Meteor. I don't think he can return Curse either. I don't think he can return Curse either. So it's a bit of a shame. But yeah, VV needed back up to full health. I didn't have to heal him at all here. So I think Auto Regen is generally still pretty useful in this battle. Auto Haste feels like a bit of a must. So... Um, I didn't get to see the damage. I was busy trying to select who to shell. But you can see, especially with Auto Haste, I'm definitely getting moves here. I think I've just been lucky in this run so far, honestly. It's been a lot of not doing much. Berserk. Yeah, that's going to cause him to miss, I guess, if he starts doing regular attacks. Flare Star. Here we go. Let's see if this is going to KO everybody somehow. Flare's usually an individual move, but that looks like a group attack to me. We all survived somehow. Wow. I'm impressed. Even at these levels, if we can survive stuff barring like the worst of the worst, it's slightly promising. Yeah, Flare Sword coming. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. Um, but I need to get him out of Berserk soon. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it hits everybody. This is, I guess, where Auto Life is probably the better... Ah, uh, you still retain, like, mini status and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so Curse is pretty horrific. And Confused Dino messed this up. I don't think there's Mega Phoenixes in this game. Wow. Okay, there you go. 5,800. Yeah, I didn't even need that remedy, really. Yeah, now we're going to get wrecked. Yeah, okay. If he keeps repeating that curse, we're going to be in big trouble. So, I think with curse, like, the, again, the confusion aspect is probably the worst. But that was a nice long attempt. I mean, we definitely gave it a go. And it's funny, I don't think Doomsday was used at all. It's typical, like, the attempt that you have full um, protection... That's the attempt where it doesn't use it. Fine. Honestly, I think it's quicker to just go through the menu and set back up again than try to find the Sky Garden thing again. Air Garden, Sky Garden. It's a shame. It seems like basically none of my stuff ends up... Um, ...working against statuses. It's all, like, elemental. All of the status protection pretty much has to come through the the things that you equip, the stone things. That would have been a nice bonus. So, is there anything that's not working that much for me? I think we can try a bit of this. Yeah, we'll give him clear-headed. I want him to not get confused. Yeah, giving her the auto haste as well. Um, auto haste, auto life, auto regen. We'll go for another status one with her, I think. Once again, make sure I use that. Okay. I think for now that's that's okay. Let's give it another go. Maybe this time we're unlucky and it just 
completely pummels us, but we just have to see. I think uh, for Steiner, Flare worked pretty well. And I don't think he has a better move than Thievery. Oh, come on, man. What? The one person who's reflected too, I guess you can't reflect that one. Missed? What? Why did it miss? But Flare Sword definitely seems to work nice. Yeah, just keep busting out those. Yeah, everyone being auto haste is definitely helping too. And Chance Steiner survives that. Yeah, good job. That's impressive. But yeah, I think Reflect is going to be a good tool. I think I need to try to get Reflect on more as well. Because it is using things like... Um, Flare. Maybe it just stops using Doomsday when everyone's already uh, protected against it somehow. It's like it might be smart like that. It just knows. Possible. So I'm chipping away here, but I don't think I'm going to get particularly close. One thing I do know, I think it has 99,000 HP or some shit. Like it's below 100,000, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't have like crazy super boss HP. So if you can kind of break through and you get lucky with the moves too. I haven't seen Doomsday in ages. Here we go. Okay, the one character I was controlling, of course, died. Um, let's see. See if I can get myself out of trouble here. Who dies? BB. Okay. Of course. Yeah, I would love some like Mega Elixir type stuff, but. I wish I could use this in the field too, like a Mega Elixir. I don't think you can. I'm just going to use a normal Elixir, I think. Uh, this is a tough call.
Yeah, if it just keeps spamming curse, we're, we're not going to be able to make it. I always love that the Phoenix Down just brings you back with 10 HP, it's so rude. There you go. So this was a really nasty combination here. Curse twice in a row and then Meteor. Good luck surviving that. Okay. Okay, I think this time I'm going to load a later save. Um, let's see. So I think this might have been one of the saves where it was before I... Before I did all the friendly creatures, but I was a higher level. Like after I got all of the choker graphs and the ultimate weapons and all that kind of thing. So let me have another look here. Yeah, Whale Whisker. I'd forgotten to equip it, yeah. And... I don't think I'd done all the friendly creatures. I forgot if there was a way to tell, to be honest. Um, the only thing here is, I did... Was this the one where I used the pumice pieces? No. Okay. But now I have two. So I think this could be a good kind of sweet spot thing. I've got more ultimate weapons. I've just got better equipment, basically. I'm going to try and fight with this setup. I feel like this was before I... Um, before I did all the friendly creatures, but we'll see. The only thing I'm worried about is if I really start to feel like I need... I need like max stats to survive, basically like Meteor, I have to survive, Curse. Um, even after I'm hit with it, I need to have enough HP left to still have a chance of doing something. Stuff like that. Okay, so I've got to find... Oh, crap. This is the one forest I shouldn't have gone into. I've got to find the Garda one more time. Uh, take a look at the Choker Graph. Yeah, definitely got all of them. I don't know if I'm not looking at the right place for this one. Basically, in all of my attempts, I have not found the Sky Garden thing here. Pretty sure it's along this, this coastline. I've looked it up. But I've not seen the shadow appearing here at all. I've been here maybe ten times, and it hasn't appeared on any of my runs. The water one, I believe, is quite hard to find also haven't encountered that one. Maybe I'm just not looking in the exact right patch. Also haven't encountered the one over here. Can apparently appear on this coastline too. It's a bit further down, the, the actual spot that the wiki shows. But yeah, it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Again, haven't seen this one. The only ones I've found so far is this one. It's here again, um, and the one on the, the small island. That's it, so I'm not too sure. Okay. Let me do a preparatory. Ah, I can't change my party members here though, for God's sake. Okay, I think but it won't change unless I like trigger a battle or go into an area, I think. So I'm just gonna change my party members. Oh well, I've gone into the airship, so it will change. Everything just so fiddly with Ozma. Okay, so literally within maybe like three to five minutes, I think, thanks to the speed up, basically I, I pushed everyone up one level higher. 
so they won't have any issues with uh, level 4 holy. Uh, in the process, I learned a couple of new things as well, because I put ability up. So I learned Atomos, actually. I can use that as a summon. Um, also learned Auto Haste as well. I made sure she knows that too. Uh, I now have... Uh, Auto Reflect for Vivi as well. I gave him Healer too, why not? Um, and so now I should be ready to have another set of attempts here. And hopefully push Ozma a little harder. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, so it's still here. Um, I haven't been in and out of any areas, I guess. So just going to save here. This will be my second save file. I will just use a normal attack to see if I can hit. Um, if I can, then that probably means I have defeated the friendly creatures. Still going to give the ribbon here, I think. It's probably the best move. I am missing something here. Oh, wait, no, okay. Shadow damage, shadow damage. Okay, that's good. Uh, he's a bit of an ego boy, so we'll give him... And a pumice piece for you, too. Right, that should be everyone. Okay, I think everyone's ready. We've got shadow protection um, for everybody. And so we'll see how we manage with that. Right, now it's time to have a look at abilities based on what we learned last time. Now... I'm going to have a look at exactly what Curse does. I want to know what status it, statuses it has so I don't waste um, slots. Right, it inflicts Confuse, Poison, Darkness, Slow, and Mini. Okay. Right, so again, that's why for me at least Auto Haste seems like a bit of a must. Um, I think Confuse is probably also a must. Darkness, I don't care as much. So we'll go with both of these for now. I feel like auto life really could make the difference. Is there anything that protects against mini? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can equip anything that prevents it. Yeah, I think I might have to take mini on the chin. I don't have much else here. Um, I mean, is Ozma a demon? Maybe. It's a demon ball. I'd love to have half MP, but I'm just going to see if I can just toss my elixirs to survive instead. Again, she's at that weird stage where she kind of loses out. I don't know if this kind of stacks. I don't even know exactly what it does. Let me see. Okay, yeah. This just basically means if you use your physical attack, you heal someone instead of damaging them. So it's not going to help in this situation. But yeah, that curse ability is just too dangerous, so I'm, I'm having to be very conservative at the moment. But I feel like auto-regen and auto-haste just do a lot of work. So I kind of need it. Yeah, Zidane has the slots to really make it work. Um, he has most of what I'd want at the moment based on what I've learned for this battle. I'd love to have Auto Reflect too, but I think for that you need level 99. I will play around with Reflect a bit more in this battle and see what I can do with it. Um, right.
doubles the strength of spells by using. I'm gonna. Oof, it's a massive slot, man. I can't use that. It's too much. And then I'm not left with a whole lot once again. Uh, yeah, I don't think silence gets used at all in the battle. Fine. Yeah, his magic defense sucks. And he has no way to increase his HP, so... I'm going to change this Mage's hat because I want something that's going to give him much better protection. Like that. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have equipped the previous one. 55, 41. Yeah, nothing better. We'll have to make do with that. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. I guess he's got way more HP, so I might give him something else. She can have the circlet. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to save with this and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this team a go here. See what we can do. I still think it's going to be unlikely, maybe unless we get lucky, but we'll find out soon. Alright, let's get it. Yeah, this one where I got 99 dead peps. Gonna use speed up here. Every minute counts at this stage. I think we're ready, let's just give it a try. Here we go. I'm curious to see how much more damage we can do with Zidane's thievery move. Probably not a huge amount, but at least he's got the best weapon for the job now. Right, I'm gonna begin with Reflect here. Okay, so Doomsday has happened, so I guess I got lucky the last two attempts. And Doomsday only hits the enemy when you use it through Steiner. That's important to note. Right. Yes, perfect. Hmm. They almost still took damage. Not sure why. I guess maybe they don't stack. That could be the reason. I'm going to try and bounce that spell, spell off me. See how much damage we do. So really starting to pull out all the stops and try to find the biggest moves that I have. Oh no, someone's level 55, aren't they? For God's sake. So it's such an arsenal of moves. I have one character who's 55, yep. Has to be the one. I forgot I had the nice auto life. Yeah, I'm not really doing any more damage, so thievery is not really a good one in that sense. Uh. Let's just try this one, see if we can get any more damage out.
yeah, Comanasia failed. The timings have just been horrible this time around. It's been annoying. Steiner has not been able to do anything. Guarded against whatever that was. So Zidane's pretty impotent in this battle, I would say. Let's try a normal attack. Maybe this is the save file where I've done... Ah, here we go. It's just the amount of damage it does as well. It's horrific. So we're going to try to recover everyone from Mini first. Still haven't been able to use anything good. Oh yeah, I need long reach with Zidane, I think. That's the... I forgot about that. Let's see Atomos in action anyway, by the way. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, this curse is happening too much. This is actually turning out to be the worst move of the bunch. I can't see, I, that's like a, it's the sound of healing, but I can't see how much healing it's doing. Not much to be done there. So I'm able to stay in the battle for a, for a decent amount of time, but I'm just not getting anywhere. Yeah, just spamming curse over and over. Yeah, the damage from Curse is really heavy. Yeah, I'm struggling to think my way around this combination of moves. But to be honest, I didn't really get to do a lot of what I tried. Like, I put Reflect on, I immediately got killed. Um, I don't think... Have I been hit with a curse while I have Reflect on? I don't think I have. So I want to know if that protects against it somehow. If not, you don't really have a choice other than to keep your HP really high. So... Yeah... Wait, I healed up and then I saved, right? I'm sure I healed up in the next phase. But fine. Uh, I mean, you're seeing auto life coming in, coming in handy multiple times, so... Yeah, let me just have another attempt. Just a quick fire new one. Maybe we get a different sequence of, of things happening here. I'm not sure if I should try to give everyone Shell. Does that reduce the damage from Curse, or does it not? Do I try to give everyone Reflect? Because I've got Auto Regen already. Not quite sure. Okay, I somehow survived that. Come on, Auto Life Crew. There you go. But yeah, already that got used up. But yeah, Zidane seems pretty useless at the moment. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if those two moves happen back to back, for me at least, I'm basically dead. Yeah, it's the ultimate, like, horrible three moves in a row. I think I absorbed this, though, with Steiner. So... It's one small silver lining. I mean, that's just, like, one move I've managed to negate out of... Six. And I'm pretty sure I can't stop the mini effect from Curse. Yeah. 
See, now this uh, elixir is redundant. Of course. <laughs> I still haven't had a chance to see what Reflect does in this battle. It's really weird. Just keep getting hit with Curse over and over again. And even Steiner with full HP, 4,464. That's just massive. That's massive. Um, okay. I think this time I want to give everybody Auto Reflect, because I'm struggling to even get that on. Um, I'm more curious about seeing what it actually does in the battle um, at this stage. I don't know if I'm willing to sacrifice. You see, I don't want to sacrifice auto regen, and I don't want to satis uh, satisfy sacrifice um, auto haste either. So it's like I don't know how to. That's why again, it's pointing towards needing higher levels to really get it done. Um, unless you're looking at the really specific loophole, kind of breaking the game, finding something that works. So one thing we did see was. I don't think I got 100% damage reduction from these two. They didn't stack, so it's a little bit annoying. But is there anything I can do instead? So I can do that, reduce holy damage, and then just reduce shadow damage here. Yeah. That's something. Right, let's keep going. I need to see more, I need to figure out what to do with Curse. First thing I'm going to do is put Reflect on, and I'm going to put it onto someone other than BB, in case we get a level 5 death. It's just got so many moves. What's this starting with? Flare, okay. I can't tell if this is Elma. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's got this weird like anti-reflect thing. Still haven't seen um, this work at all yet. I think even in mini stages it doesn't really matter. It's just still do the oh you combination fails when you're in mini. That sucks. Yeah, do a lot less damage. Maybe his trance gauge isn't a million miles away either. It's interesting. At the moment I'm just waiting for Garnet to get rid of Mini on everyone. It's taking a while. You guys saw what happened there, it automatically switched the move. I just can't do it. I can't see the move. So unfair, now Vivi's gonna die. Uh no doomsday for me. For the love of God, can I just get some attacks in? I feel like I was getting more attacks in before. Yeah, so this was pointless. I forgot that VB was the first time he'd been killed. Let's try a lucky seven. Why not? I don't think it's going to do that much. Doomsday. Um. Mm, she takes 3,082 damage. Again, that was very unlucky. It was barely above. At least now we might be able to see two big moves, though. Let's 
see what I can do. Okay, finally. That's beastly. Still no reflect, by the way. I've not been able to put reflect on at all. Ah, oh, heal from that. That's rude. That is rude. To be honest, the flare uses even more MP, so I assume it's even stronger. Potentially. Yeah, the one person that can free us from the mini status is already dead. Been a shambles. Yep, combination failed once again. Still trying to do reflect somehow, some way. Someone just getting reflected. It's just it costs 15 to get a reflect on. It's just too much. Yeah, his climb hazard is going to be quite funny. But at least he has reflect now. Okay, I mean, I still did something. So, Curse, Steiner, what happens here? He takes the damage. He survives it. Okay. But reflected nothing in that scenario. Fine. We continue to learn. But now we're in the range where if he uses Curse again, we're basically dead. Still haven't seen what Atomos does. Usually can't survive long enough. And again, we won't be able to survive long enough. Of course, Meteor can't be reflected. I have no idea how Stein is surviving all of this. I guess maybe somehow Meteor has to do with physical defense too. Maybe. But Stein has absolutely beasted this. But has his Reflect run out already? I think it has. Yeah, it has. Okay. So next time we're going to go with... Um We're going to go with auto-reflect for everyone, see what we can do. But Steiner refuses to die, he's just saying no. This is my story, he says. Climb has is still better than Minor Strike in this scenario. But it's just annoying that I can't see how much is healing itself. 5,084, that's the highest I've seen Curse do, I think. So it's essentially... A one-hit KO most times, I think, for at least two or three of my party members. So it is looking like a pretty much a hard, like, level barrier here. Unless, yeah, it's looking like maybe, I don't know if there's a way to stop it using Curse. Some kind of status you can afflict on it that's, like, really cheeky. There's this one random status that it's not immune to. Definitely seen it before, but it's unlikely. Or do you just hope you get lucky? Uh, yeah, so this time we are gonna... Do not have the levels. Um, bird killer. Maybe maybe it counts as flying. You never know. Yeah, 
Uh, like, I need one more point to have auto life, um, to have HP plus 20. Okay. We're going to do an auto uh, reflect run just to see what happens here. It's not like I'm using anything to be able to even heal anyway. I'm letting auto regen do the work when it comes to healing. Wow, that almost survived with a 63. Again, Steiner getting completely knocked out by that Meteor was strange because he survived one by taking like 500 and something damage before. So. Two thousand three hundred, that's as low as I've seen. The fact that you come back with nine is just really, really cruel. But yeah, Ozma definitely looking every bit the super boss at the moment. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, at these kind of levels, it's fe it's feeling like you've got to have some kind of specific setup happening. Something very specific, like I don't know, Freya's got to have this equipped, and you have to spam this move over and over again, or something along those lines. I'm not seeing. What else can be done here? Because there's just too many moves that seem to just have a... Like, Auto Reflect, by the way, didn't really seem to help at all there. Um, yeah, there's like, there's too many moves that at these levels, there's no way I can really bring them below two to 4,000 damage. And there's two of my characters that have less than 4,000. Well, what, basically 3,000. So... It doesn't look very likely to me at the moment. These guys are even lower level, so... It's funny though, I haven't had attempts that literally maybe last like five minutes where I've got to just attack over and over. And some attempts are over within 20 seconds, so it really is a big RNG element. I'm going to try some shell. And just hope that we don't see a curse for a while on this run. Only 3,000 from Vivi, which is a bit crap. I mean, we can of course always try little things like slow and bio and that kind of thing. I very, very much doubt it. But. Right, curse. How much damage? 2,400 on Elmer. Yeah, the curse just came too quickly. Again, Elixir getting wasted here, because Elma's going to be the one that dies. I think she's the one that doesn't have full protection. Yep. So yeah, that Elixir was wasted. Um, Hopefully this next one isn't wasted. Come on, Steiner. Yes. I'm still going to summon Atomos. i just got to see what it can do. Yeah, Vivi's dying here. 
Again, level 99, you don't have to deal with any of these spells. Um, the, the level 4 holy and the level 5 death, they won't work. So you'll be fine. For me also, the unknown is what it does in terms of that weird like healing noise that it makes. I can't see any green numbers, so I can't see it healing. But it's a healing sound. And I also... What is this? Oh yeah, this Atomos is moved. Damn. Wow. I mean, it looks impressive. I don't think it's going to do much damage, but it looks impressive. Wow. Probably going to do nothing. Yeah, I was going to say. A very cool looking move, though. And, well, Atomos. Very rare to see a summon like that. Okay. You see, like, that's one of the easiest, most basic spells it can do that isn't a problem. So it really does you do you do need a good run of moves to, to make it work. Curious to see how much VB can heal here. 191 to start before the this set of turns. I'm not gonna take a risk on the heal. So they don't give you the long animation the second time round. They don't want you to spam it. about to say... Mini didn't work this time for some reason. Just curious to see what this does. Might be a bit of a long animation too, but yeah. This is the end. Yeah, you see how quick that move was? I got killed, but before I could come back, I already got cursed again. So, at the moment, it's looking like a resounding no in terms of being able to defeat this guy based on this party and what I have set up. Err... Uh, I don't really know what I have left to try here, other than to, to just hope I get lucky. Still going to give it just one more. Just one more. But, I mean, that Meteor basically did quad nines the next time it hit, so... I don't know. It seems a very inconsistent damage dealer. Okay, final attempt with these parameters. Okay, definitely had worse starts. Um, Wow, he actually survived that. That's pretty impressive. I think to keep everyone at full HP, I'm going to try to just spam items a little more here. As soon as I get the chance. Auto regen definitely does help, but if someone's taken a pretty big hit, I'm just not going to risk it. Can you stop the big boy in midair? Why not give it a go? Ah, uh, happened too fast. Happened too bloody fast. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see if this works. That would be kind of funny if you could stop it in midair. Miss, of course. Um, so I think I've got some elixirs to toss here. Yeah, I should have used mini there. I forgot. It's okay. So I have tried to throw in a few little different things here. See if it changes anything. But. Yeah, I think she took 4,400 damage there uh, with Shell. <laughs> yeah, when it follows up Meteor with Curse, you just, you know, some iron. Yeah, so... No. Now, the only problem is, uh, I do remember um, people saying, I think... Um, one of my mods actually also mentioned, don't use the pumice pieces to get the final summon. And, well, now obviously I get why. Uh, at the time I didn't. And I was like, I don't really mind, I'll, I'll just try uh, either way. Honestly, the problem is not even hitting it, I feel. Like, if Zidane's attack suddenly worked, I just don't see how that changes the outcome at this stage. It's just not enough. Like, I'm just taking too much damage. Just taking too much damage. Obviously, doing more damage would help, but he's, I don't think he's going to suddenly start doing quad nine if he can if he can hit uh, Ozma. He's doing two thousand. Maybe he'll do like three thousand, four thousand. So, like, it's I don't feel like it's the kind of thing that's going to tip me over the edge at this point. And well, I feel like Stein is already using as powerful a move as he has. I don't know what else he could do. Uh, honestly, Vivi, I'm not so sure of in this battle now. Like, Flare's doing 3,000, which is fine, but it's not like... Not that great. So yeah, Shell did help, but not as much as I really had hoped. So yeah, definitely up there is one of the hardest things I've faced in Fire Fantasy, for sure. Just give Vivi an elixir straight away. At least uh, auto life kicked in immediately, so we were able to use this. Yeah, it's pretty much the biggest single move that we have at this stage. Gotta try and get off as many of those as possible before we all die. Came too fast. Yeah, maybe you guys a second time. At least he ends up using it on himself, which is a which was a good move in this case. And yeah, heaven forbid you get more than one flare happening. Elixir again here. Depends who gets hit. Of course it was her right before she got the elixir. <laughs> that still helps, I guess. Yeah. Um. I'm wondering if it's one of these weird situations where it's better to try and solo it. I remember in like Ruby Weapon from Final Fantasy VII, sometimes maybe it even works better to try and do that, I don't know. Like find one character that's very tanky or a situation where only a certain thing happens if one character gets used. I don't know. So that's why I'm giving him... Um, I think I need a remedy to cure this mini. I'd rather go elixir here.
Just in case protects help something. I'm not really sure if it does. So I'm starting to lean a bit more into just working with one character to see if that does anything. So that move is a non-factor. He's fine. Just trying to give him all the support. Yeah, this climb hazard while under mini is not going to be our best work. Ah, got the curse in before I was ready for it. But yeah, as you can see, Steiner's doing a relatively decent job of staying alive here compared to everyone else. And he doesn't even have HP plus 20 at this stage. So, I don't know, maybe we've just got to start working with him. But I think speed-wise it would, it would be a big problem. I don't think he's quick enough to try to solo this. Like, yeah, he's he's doing really well at surviving the moves, but... If auto regen was enough, then possibly, but... He can't attack and then heal at the same time. So he will get him eventually. Ah, very smart. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Oh, it missed. That was lucky. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's one of these battles you can maybe win with counter-attack somehow. Yeah, okay. Got the auto life in still. He's going to heal fully from this one. So I guess we just got to wait until this happens. <laughs> and then basically toss elixirs until this happens. Try to stay alive. And then after Doomsday heals me fully, that's a cue to attack. And just grind away. That'd be quite funny. I think I've heard of someone solo soloing it with BB. I'm not sure I've heard of a Steiner solo. Um, I can't say I've heard too many stories of people beating Smack, but... Might be an interesting niche way to do it. Oh, come on. 4,700... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a way to reduce damage from Curse. I wonder if it's percentage-based or what it does. It feels like another one of those moves where if I can find a counter to it, the whole battle's going to change. So I'm not giving up just yet on this save file slash setup. I'm going to start to focus a bit more on Steiner. I feel like Steiner's got... He's got the ability to do a lot of damage and he can survive pretty much better than anyone else so let's have another look at this uh, one thing I want to dabble with actually is seeing if I can keep everyone on the back row and seeing if these abilities um, do the same amount of damage anyway when I'm in the back row that's one thing I want to experiment with I do think that it's potentially possible that these two are taking less damage from Curse. That's one thing that might be true. I don't think I've seen Shell really make a difference. I don't know if Protect does. Curse feels like the kind of make or break thing for this battle. I feel like once you figure that out, you've got a way, way better chance. So I'm going to kind of go back to focusing on staying alive. Basically just have Steiner attack almost. And have everyone else just focus on keeping the party alive as best I can. There's always the wipeout moves anyway that I can't do much about. But um, we'll see what we can do here. So while I do have sword magic, I will try to use the big boy moves. Yeah, it basically hit everybody. 
sucks. So I will be tossing more of these elixirs now, just focusing on staying alive. good damage and he's still doing the same damage from the back row so I think that's a good sign. If I can even get a few of these off it's going to make a big difference but okay. Uh... Let me see. Ah, I forgot that VB used it on himself. <laughs> I thought it was on someone else. My bad. Yeah, I kind of overcompensated the healing here. But whatever. We'll use this as a focus turn. It's a shame I lost the combination as a result. When you're already in mini, does he use curse again? I think it does. Yeah, it does, because then that's a way to get rid of... Yeah, it does, definitely does. Okay. Yeah, so, again, Steiner took like 600 and something damage. I don't understand why. It just seems almost random. I guess it's like the magic evasion stat somehow kicking in. I don't really know. Me to your curse back to back with this bullshit. That's just a bullshit move. But you can see Steiner is still standing firm. He's the He's like the He's the powerhouse of this cell. He's the mitochondria here. I can only hope that that sound is to do with um, Like healing of status ailments if you inflict anything on it, potentially. How much did that do? 5,088. I think if Steiner has another 10 levels, how much damage again here? 19, yeah, 1,900. Definitely less. But it was just a horrible combination of turns there, you saw. That was unlucky. Okay, I think what I want to do, I'm going to grind for a few extra levels here, especially with the speed up, it's not that hard. I want to get maybe like five more levels each, something like that. I think I should be able to manage. Basically, we're going to kind of go up in in increments here. I want a little, just a little bit more. Um, we'll see how we do. So I'm going to speed up here. Okay, my friends, after using speed up and defeating a bunch of dragons, I am back. Um, I'm about 10 levels higher than I was previously. We'll see what kind of difference this makes. Uh, I've been playing around with the abilities a little bit, and I can I can do a few extra things that I couldn't before. I have the shock ability. I remember using it before, and I think climb hazard did more damage, but um, it's something I can have a look at. Here, I can now have these four, which is important. Basically, I wanted to have enough stones to be able to get HP plus 20 um, with antibody and clear head at the same time. Um, I now have enough stones to use things like high tide for um, basically, well, most of my characters. I don't know what I was doing here. Um, yeah, I was trying to make use of this. Basically, I'm a few levels away still from being able to do this. Yeah, so I need eight, but I've only got six. So that's the kind of next stage we'll see. I want to have some more attempts at the moment. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I want to try a few of these little things. It might only be for physical attacks, potentially, but we'll see. Um... They are notably, well, Zidane and Steiner are notably tankier than Vivi and Garnet at this stage. Yeah, he's got high tide now. I could play around with Reflect times two, but for now, again, just leaving that alone. 
I want to see if I can have a battle where I get into trance and I can really try to, to do some more damage. So we're going to have some more attempts here and see how we do. I mean, it's very rare that a boss battle really does push me all the way to level 99. I mean, even stuff like Ruby Weapon, I didn't really need it. But, I mean, Penance was the kind of boss where, for example, I needed to have, like, absolute max stats pretty much. You can get away with, a few, with not maxing a few things, but in general, Penance is like a, a true, like, max stat boss, really. Um, so it might be looking like Ozma could require that too. I think the, the closer you are to max stats, probably the less you need to rely on luck. Um, unless you know one of those kind of almost foolproof strategies that really minimize the luck and really help you to, to win easily. I haven't figured out any anything like that yet. I haven't really seen anything that, that really breaks the battle. I mean, some really weird things do happen sometimes in these battles. You find very strange exploits, and I'm sure some of those do exist. Um, but we'll just have to see. Nothing like that yet. It's probably just like a certain character that has something that I don't really know about at this stage. I think the final stage will be to basically, if I really can't get through, uh, I think with the Moguri mod you can basically just, uh, at, at the press of a button you can give everyone max stats. So you can level up to level 99 basically instantly. And so that's most likely what I'll do. And that includes, basically I don't want to start um, shuffling out characters and then leveling up the other set and then seeing what happens and experimenting with those. It's just going to take way too long. Um, I don't think it's worth going like that experimental with it. So I think with this party, if I really can't get it done, then I'll max it out and try with this party, and then um, and then maybe I'll even try like Freya and Co. Depending on what they have. From what I'm seeing, if let's say Freya's dragon ability, if you've slain a ton of dragons, really breaks the battle. Um, if there's something like that, that's probably still true at level 60 versus level 99. It's not going to make that much of a difference what level you're at. I'm sure some of the the tactics and the exploits are so good and so useful that honestly level probably doesn't make that much difference. You still just uh, blast through anyway. Okay, for now um, I've got everyone set up like this. So I transferred over the pumice piece to Zidane. Basically I want my tanky guys to, to heal the most from this stuff. Um, I got the egoist one for, for Vivi. These two like this. Yeah, so Zidane's the only one that doesn't have uh, over 50 magic defense. It's notably lower, but he does have quite a lot of HP. So I'm hoping that compensates. Okay. I think these guys should be ready to go for another attempt. Need to push the order back as well. I think um, having these guys in the back row is going to be better. I'm basically using like special moves anyway. So... And I do think Curse did less damage when we were back row. I'm pretty sure I saw it do like less than 2,000, which it didn't do at all. So let's give this another go. Let's see what difference 10 levels makes. It probably like reduces the amount of luck needed by like 10% or something. I think that's generally pro like how it goes, unless you find one of those like more foolproof strategies. I'm pretty sure I've always heard this is one of these battles where even at level 99, It's still going to be very difficult. It's still going to rely on luck. I just wish you could, you could use Shell on everybody. Right, 2,600 damage for Garnet though, by the way. If only this move did more damage. Then we'd be laughing. That's why Zidane's probably the one I'd swap the first from this team. Yeah, 2 1 4 5 still sucks. Gotta hope Zidane can get a heal in before um, the curse happens. Five thousand four hundred. That's not bad. And it has a nice long animation too, which I don't think the game can really shorten. Okay, 
But now I need more time to get, and of course combination failed there too. It's just annoying. I'm always finding these stupid little ways to mess with you. Let's see how many Meteor does. Ah, oh, I didn't get to see it again. I was looking at something else. Okay, well survived. Honestly, I think I'm just going to use Climb Hazard instead. I'm not going to rely on the combination. I think it's better that way. I'm not going to waste any turns. Just keep going for this. I'm going to try the Shock anyway, but I think I remember testing it before and it being weaker than Climb Hazard for some reason. Right, everyone's back in the game. Uh, right, Steins has run out already. That shell runs out fast, man. And no one's really that close to a trance either. And of course, this is when Curse arrives. And it was right after Elmer used a turn, which always sucks. But we are surviving. If you notice, people are getting KO'd by it way less, which is important. It's going to heal it. Okay, well, in many states it's hard to tell. I think Climb Hazard still does good damage even when you're mini. So. Right, let's hope that we can get people out of mini here. Okay. That's a pretty good move. This has been a good attempt so far. And again, this helps us greatly because we can basically heal for like a thousand or something during this sequence. So everyone's at full HP before it arrives. I think we survive it. Yep. Good going. So this is looking good. Gonna hinge again on how much curse and meteor we see, I think, before the end of this. Can wipe you out so fast. It worked this time. Yeah, can't reach, so just a waste of a turn. But that's fine. Let's try and heal him up quick. It hasn't had a turn for a little while. I might just wait to see what it does so I can react better. Okay. Just keep going. I'm right, hoping that's enough to heal him. Vivi's trance is coming soon too. Wait, that didn't heal? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take five here. Every single Fire Fancy just has things slightly different to the other one. I need to find out how to deal with Berserk. It's going to be like, oh, you can't heal Berserk in this game. It's cured by Gizal Greens in this game. Of course it is. God damn it. I should have looked through the menu. But... Come on, you assume that a remedy would cure something like that. So, a missed opportunity here. If I do win in this attempt, it would be kind of funny. Again, not going to use the turn here in case Curse comes. Flare Star. Okay. See who gets hit. This could be a one hit KO. Haven't had to use Auto Life yet, I think. 
Can she withstand that? Oof. We managed. Still no meteor yet, by the way. Still going. Every little piece of damage counts at this stage. We're back up to full HP, so let's just keep going. See if we can do enough to finish it. Ugh. That's annoying. I've got to put Elmer back into Mini to save everybody. One situation where it would have been better if it worked on everyone. Yep. Again, wasted damage potential here. And climb hazard, so two, that's like 10,000 damage down the shitter due to bad luck. But that trance is coming for Vivi, and when it does, it might be the end. Ah, oh, what a dick. Leave him alone. Elmer hasn't had a turn for about six months, as you've seen. I literally selected Mini maybe two minutes ago. It's still going to be bullshit. Oh, still actually did the same damage in Mini, which is kind of useful. But we missed a big chunk of damage here, which is just annoying. Um, let's see. I'm going to get her back out of Mini. Just have to be patient here. And hope we don't die. Okay, so the Gazelle Green was for nothing. I think he gets... Auto life, if I remember correctly. He does. So we're staying in the game here. Find this Gazelle Green. Always my favorite thing when an item that you use becomes useless by the time <laughs> you actually have the move. So I'm starting to deliberately use Meteor now. Um, Because of just the animation time. Gives me more healing chance. Okay. Gonna wait for the turn again here. Although... Yeah, gonna wait for the turn. Come on, do your thing. Okay. Banking on her to survive this. No! Yeah. Okay. That's fine. She still gets to use the elixir. Here, I'm gonna trade Vivi's turn to make sure I get that elixir in a, a little bit faster. Ah, you see that timing? That's just horrible. So all hands on deck now to try and survive. Vivi is in trance though. Could this be the end of Ozma? It would of course be a classic if Vivi came up trumps here. To win the day. Wait, I tossed the Phoenix down, did I not? Oh god. It's all gone mad. Double black magic. Let's just keep pushing. I'm not going to waste this. Uh, waste this opportunity. But I am worried a meteor is going to be coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. I do have some auto life though. Let's just see the outcome of this. Uh, horrible move. Okay. I'm going to start with an elixir. If Vivi can get those spells up, we've got a lot of time to... Um, do they not work as a result? Yeah. Come on, don't waste... This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. 
Lose yourself, Vivi. Uh, I think I tossed the Phoenix down on, on Garnet already, but I can't give it an advance. Mm. I'm just going to wait. Just wait to see what happens here. Maybe Vivi does enough, I don't know. It's just that healing noise thing, maybe I've not done any damage all along. I really don't know. Like, it's been healing the whole time. I just need to move the battle along, though. I need one of these to hit. Come on. Okay. Doomsday, that's fine. At this stage, I don't know if I've revived Elmore or not. Everything's taken so long. I actually can't tell what's going on. Elma's the only person that would have taken damage here, so we're still doing okay. But I just need her to be revived, like now. Like right freaking now. Okay. And I need her to survive. I'm just gonna double flare here. I saw the Meteor miss, I'm not happy about that. Don't want that to happen again. Right, here comes a move, level 4 holy, that's okay. Definitely far and away the best attempt we've had so far. Still okay. Yeah, we're still good. Just gonna go for more damage here. This is about the best I can manage, I think, at this stage. And it has been throwing all of its moves, so... I mean, I wouldn't say I've had a lucky run. There hasn't been as much curse, but... I don't think it's been like a super RNG run. It's just... The team's been better. Everyone on the back row, I think, has made a big difference. I think it's done. There you go. Yes. Of course it was Vivi that dealt the final blow. You knew that was going to happen. Okay, Whew. the final boss, the final true super boss of Five Fantasy Nine has been defeated. There we go. Add that one to the list. <laughs> Three minis and a trance, of Eevee. What do we even get for that? Sixteen thousand. We still get experience points and a hundred AP, and you get a special pumice piece. All right. You're very strong, Kupo. That's amazing, Kupo. I recorded how I feel right now on a card, Kupo. I'll give you a secret. I'll give you secret info too. Osma card. There you go. Strategy guide. One more bonus, Kupo. HP and MP. Okay, thank you for that. Nice. So I got a strategy guide. So I think the final thing that was left was like a trying to beat a party of Yans, basically. Like, three or four of them. One. I, did I beat one where there was three of them? I think I beat one for sure in the stream. I don't know if I I won when there was more than one of them at this stage. I mean, arguably, I, I don't know what the maximum number you can face is. It might be four, possibly. That might even be harder than uh, Ozma. Who knows? But, with that being said, that's it, my friends. I have done it. The post-game of Final Fantasy IX, I was going to say X almost, of course, <laughs> um, is finally complete. I Honestly, thanks to the streams, like I said, I had a really good time. Um, and I'm really glad I got to do it, because Ozma was one of those like thorns in my in my side. It was a little missing piece of the Danzu 8 Final Fantasy CV. So I'm really glad I managed to, to get that one done too. But definitely a very tough battle, um, especially at lower levels. Like... Could I have, if I had exactly the same run when I was 10 levels lower, I might have been able to survive. It would have been, like I said, I think I gave myself a better chance because I did have some better stats and I could equip an extra couple of things, um, including things like High Tide, which I definitely think would have helped. Did Vivi have it equipped? He did, yeah. So 
those few extra stones as well, I think I, I put it to, to decent use. So I think like these levels could definitely have been done, but it would have taken longer, I think, and required a lot more RNG at lower levels. But I'm glad I made it through. Could we have got there without Vivi's trance? I think we could have. It definitely could have still happened. Everyone was still alive. And uh, unless we got bad RNG on Ozma's side, I think we could have handled it. But yeah, definitely a very tough battle. It's up there as one of the hardest, I think, in the series for sure. But I'm glad I have it under my belt. And thank you so much to you guys for joining me and for being a true part of the journey this time. Uh, usually, as you guys know, of course, it's very much like, you know, I do my own thing. I just, uh, I, play the, I play the game, I record it, and I upload it. But with this one, I definitely needed some extra motivation. You guys were on my back about Ozma for years. And I'm glad that I could finally share with you guys how I defeated Ozma. And it really is thanks to you guys that I managed to get back into it. Complete the post game, do the chocobo hot and cold, find the chocographs, the dead peppers. And we even did extra stuff like the, the friendly monsters, Mognet, um, the monster, not monster capturing, um, frog catching, quail. We did, a, we did a lot of stuff. We met the Yans. I defeated, at least I think, the singular Yan. Honestly, don't remember. Uh, I might do a, like a little mini bonus video of me against trying to defeat uh, a party of Yans. It might be kind of amusing as a video after the final super boss of the game, just to defeat another enemy. Uh, would be kind of funny, so we'll see. Um, at the moment, my goal was Ozma, and it always has been Ozma for the post game of Final Fantasy IX, and we've done it. So thank you to everyone that's been a part of this, everyone that was in the live streams. Um, those live streams were really useful to the channel as well. A lot of people generously gifted memberships. A lot of people were very supportive with donations and stuff. It was just really good for the channel. It made the entire process way more fun. And it was a way for me to share some Final Fantasy IX after five years of being away from it on the channel. So in terms of what could you expect from Final Fantasy IX, there's always these rumors floating around for the last year or two, especially about some kind of Final Fantasy IX remake. Um, if that happens, my guess is it's just going to be so similar to the original with more of like a graphical overhaul. Uh, nothing like 7 to 7R. I think it's just going to be more of a... like a Moguri mod times 3 in terms of the visuals or something like that. Uh, if that's the case, I'm not going to play the game again from start to finish on the channel. Um, I would definitely be inclined to do a movie version then. I would be very much motivated to do a movie version if that happened. And even if not, that's still, a, again, a missing part of the CV where I've got movies for Final Fantasy 7 onwards, basically. Uh, and 9 is missing. So there is a chance, especially with the Mulguri mod now where things look a little nicer, um, I could definitely still do a movie version of Final Fantasy 9 behind the scenes and just work on that quietly uh, alongside all the other stuff, but no promises on that. So that's a general future when it comes to Final Fantasy 9, but of course with the general Final Fantasy content, uh, there's Final Fantasy 3 still to come on the channel, not to mention the three big Final Fantasy releases coming over the next like year or two which is Crisis Core, which is going to be within a few months, hopefully. Uh, then Final Fantasy 16 uh, towards the end of the summer next year, I think. And then there's going to be Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, basically towards the end of 2023 slash early 2024. So a lot of awesome things to come on the channel Final Fantasy wise. And because the live streams were such a huge success, I am looking into what to do with uh, more live streams. Maybe turn it into something I do once every couple of weeks and maybe do a run of like a, a randomized run of Final Fantasy X or some kind of modded run of Final Fantasy X, some kind of challenge run of Final Fantasy X, something like that. Uh, 10 is always the best one to live stream for, for many reasons I don't need to repeat again, but there is a chance I'll be doing something like that just to have like a long-term piece of streaming content going on on the channel, um, aside from these like little one-off videos or like a couple of streams here and there. Something a bit more consistent, I think, would definitely benefit me as a content creator. Give you guys something live that's even better than the 24-7 stream in terms of interaction and uh, gathering as a community and having a good time. And it'll be probably another great excuse for me to play the old Final Fantasy X once again because, yeah, that itch never, never goes away. So that's what I've got to say. Thank you all so much for joining me for the post-game of Final Fantasy IX. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.